Hi everybody, just thinking a little bit about uh, music for different seasons, different periods. Um, in my last video I played a couple of UK psych singles and um, Steve at Psych and the Valleys, he made a comment that he listens to UK psych in May and June. I'm very specific. And I said to him, uh, I've noticed he's sort of had seasonal listening before and he said he is a seasonal listener. Now I thought about this from time to time, um, it was something I'd actually considered doing my next video on when he, when he mentioned that. And uh, I thought, well, it's interesting because we know that there are certain musics which we associate with different periods and times and seasons. Now, is this true for all music? No, but certain music, of course, we naturally associate. Christmas is Christmas, for example. Um, you know, the right of spring by Stravinsky. I mean, it's in the title. A lot of um, pieces are, of course, written about a particular time of the year or whatever. You know, um, here is an album, George Winston's piano solos, that lovely cover called December. You know, it's very specific. Here we are, we're interpreting or I'm expressing my feelings about December. Um, and maybe we're trying to encapsulate all different things about that. And so we're focused and, you know, it's obvious, it's a given. That doesn't mean to say, of course, we only have to listen to this in December. Of course not. But it makes us think of December. And perhaps we're going to be more likely to listen to that kind of thing in the winter. Acid folk, for example, is something I think we all, because we, we do this, I think, we, we associate with autumn. There's a lot of kind of uh, imagery and whatnot within those sorts of songs to do with the woods and the changing of the seasons and uh, uh, nature and the, the, the feel and flow of, especially that time of year. Um, I mean, the song November comes to mind of uh, Vashti's first album. So there are lots of different things that we associate and we link with periods and seasons. Now, um, the weather report, I associate with the summer. Now, does this have to be heard in the summer? No, but it's got, I think it's the covers more than anything. They're kind of a, a subliminal message. This is summer music. And when you listen to the music, it has that summery vibe we associate with the summer. It can be listened to all year round. It's just fusion music, but it's associated with the summer. Um, for me, anyway. Um, and there's something about fusion sound, especially a sort of, I don't know what it is. You can imagine it. it's a hot sunny day, you're out in the garden or wherever you're, you're with friends and stuff, but you can have a fusion playing in the background. And there's something about it that has that atmosphere. Maybe it's linked with, uh, as a sort of calypso element of jazz and stuff. And of course, they're all summer, summer kind of events or uh, the sort of tropical islands and stuff that come to mind and it's evoked by those sorts of music. So, and obviously things like the Beach Boys we associate with the summer. Um, because it's all really heavy in your face, so it's about surfing and summer and sun and everything else. So it's a given again. Um, maybe it's harder with instrumental music to associate something with a particular season, which hasn't got a title, like the Rite of Spring. I mean, as a, for me, Shostakovich's fourth, fifth, and perhaps... I wouldn't say probably all of the symphonies, but the fourth and fifth, the tenth, they just associate with winter. Is it because he's Russian? Is it because his music was used in Battleship Potemkin? <laughs> Is it because there's, uh, you know, because I think of Russia, what are the first things I think about? I think about snow, I think about Siberia, I think about Moscow, I think about f big fur hats and big coats and winter. I don't associate Russia with the winter, uh, with the summer. So there is, in my mind, it's a winter music. Now, you know, it's nonsense. Of course, you can listen to it all year round. And I suppose if you take, um, for example, one of those symphonies, 
uh, maybe for Leningrad Symphony, it associates, it's suddenly got a name and you associate it with a city and with a war and whatever happened at the time. So again, there's an association. I mean, we, we give meaning to something and we can take it out of the context of seasons and, you know, whatever. And I don't know if you have music which you associate with certain seasons or which you can't listen to unless it's that particular season, unless it just, there's no feel for it, there's no kind of, you have no desire to listen to acid folk in spring. You have no desire to listen to the Beach Boys, um, apart from that Christmas album, uh, you know, in November. Obviously this is Northern Hemisphere speak. Um, and maybe this is obviously a, a, a Western way of thinking as well. Um, is this true for all cultures and all? Probably not. We, we all listen to different musics in different ways. I'm talking about a lot of things that we're familiar with and which we can associate with. Um, uh, let me see here, for example, another Sunshine Company. It's just a pop psych thing, but we associate it with summer. Can we listen to it outside of summer? Yes. But it's funny, isn't it, how we do have music, which just, it's almost like you cannot listen to it at other times of the year. Um, and there are some music, of course, you can listen to all year round. I don't know what it is, and obviously there are these associations. I don't know why we feel that with certain music. And what is it within ourselves? There's, you know, we are attuned to the world we live in and we're very um, moved by the cycles of the moon and everything else, whether we're aware of it or not. And we are very, very susceptible to uh, patterns and methods of behaviour depending upon the seasons, you know, just on the basic level where we, we stay in and hunker down a bit in winter. But it associates, you know, we may be become more creative in a different way in winter and uh, there's a kind of there's a change in the way we do things and the same in the summer we behave very differently but there's something about the long days which affects us and it's going to have an effect on the way we on whatever we do and you know, we're just talking here about music but it's this it's going to have an effect on the kind of music and the way and what we listen to and how we respond to certain sounds and whatnot as I say, some music will be, you can listen to all year round, especially if they're personal favourites or whatever, and they're just, they're not linked with that, and why should they be? But why should any music be? <laughs> why should any of it be locked into a season or locked into a, uh, okay, you, you, you're sort of caught in that sort of state, you can't break out of it. I mean, it's strange to, to listen to one kind of music, the UK psych, for example, I say it's strange, it's just, I can understand it because of the kind of the sounds and the substance to listen to that and that period, because again, it obviously evokes, to me, when I listen to UK psych stuff, we're just saying the phrase and talking about it in this context, I'm imagining Carnaby Street in the summer. But these are imaginations I've not actually experienced uh, from the period, because I wasn't alive in 67. But there's a, there's just a sense of, I've seen the footage, I've seen the films, I associate things within the mind. And so all of these different influences, not just the natural world and our cycles and seasons, but all of the things we've ever seen, all of the things we've ever been told, all of those things, they affect and not necessarily dominate us, but there is an element of, well, you're not controlled by them. There's, there's a sort of sense of, you are following a pattern, you're following these things because it's an, almost like an unwritten law, you know, you've learned it and you've adapted the behaviour and the responses and so that's what you do. <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, uh, true for us all or if it's just something which, um, you know, I'm rambling on about for no reason at all. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for that. I'm sure there'll be lots of things I think about afterwards. Oh yeah, I could have said that, as is always the case. But I'm just sitting here doing my blah. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.